Hello again, thank you for watching Odders Plays. You are watching Odders Plays, and today we're talking about Ranko Tsukigime's Longest Day, part of the Short Piece Collection. I have a handy fact sheet for Short Piece here. Let's see. Um, rough storyline is Ranko Tsukigime is the only child of the underground Tsukigime Enterprise. She's an average high school girl by day and a deadly assassin by night. Now, Short Piece isn't just a game, it is also a short anime collection. And I'll explain a little bit more about that in a second. First, let's uh... Yeah, let's continue. Fuck it. Okay, so the game is basically a side-scrolling action platformer with... Uh... I want to say a heavy emphasis on storyline and animation, but it's it's really uh it's really short. I this is a first impressions video and it's my impressions after about forty three minutes of playing the game. The problem with that is that the game only took me forty three minutes to finish. And a lot of you at home might be thinking, what the fuck, 43 minutes? That's that's shit as far as the length of a game goes. People have been moaning about Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, but this really takes the cake. Now the thing is, this is a game designed for replayability, and I can completely understand that. All right, so here we go. This is here is is Ranko with the eye patch. There's there's Ki Kiara, I guess. Kirara, Moeko, or Moko, or I don't I don't know. Point is, first of all, it's Japanese as shit, and there's there's a, there's a small selection of uh, anime cutscenes like this, and they all seem to take on a different art style. You see this, and you think this Swedo 3D. Uh, anime style would be in it a lot, but it's actually not, which is, to be honest, kind of thankful because, I don't know, the the frame rates on the characters themselves don't look great, as you can probably see. Um, it all looks very pretty though, and I enjoyed the whole game for what it was, but like I said, the whole game is only 43 minutes long. Suda51 is the producer. And as as I'm sure most people would know by now, Suda51, he, he might be on crack. He might be. It's entirely possible. Because all of his games seem to be nonsensical at very best. I mean, it's been Killer7. It was basically about a bunch of split personalities inside the mind of one guy in a wheelchair. Uh, no More Heroes was about a nerdy kid who became an assassin with a lightsaber type thing and charged it by jacking it off. Absolute insanity, and he's done plenty more games. Like the Shadow was it Shadows of the Damned, where your head can just roll around freely and not die. I don't know. Suda Fifty One's been involved in some rid ridiculous game concepts, but for the most part, people like his games. I can understand why they're all very fun to play. Um, hey, I love ridiculous Japanese game concepts. It's just. They they know what crazy shit is. I love that shit. I love that shit. It's great. Um, here's Ranko's house, I guess. Yep. Monthly parking lots. I, I really... I don't know how that ties into anything. Like the little bits she's dropping here, they I guess they expand on her character, but the game is so short. You, I wanted to really like these characters. They seem really charming, and the introduction they get is really nice, and it looks like characters that I would grow to really like. But I'm not. You're not given enough time with them. There's not really much more you can discover. Yeah, I guess a Japan, the, the the anime style game. They wouldn't they wouldn't give up a chance to have the main girl running around in her underwear. Oh look, boys would love this. She, she's playing online games in her underwear, just like just like a guy. 
Um, I'm guessing where that's what they were going for with that. I don't know. I, I guess I guess I could say that it seems shameless, but so much Japanese stuff is utterly shameless. You you can't judge it on that alone. So yeah. So far, about five minutes in, it's just been cut scenes. What can we say about gameplay? Well, we will wait until the gameplay actually fucking starts, to be fair. What the fuck? Uh, let's see. What else we got? Oh, yeah. So, in the short piece, Ranko Tsukagime's Longest Day, PS3 Blu-ray disc, there is also four short films, which are Possessions, Combustible, Gambo, and A Farewell to Arms. Possessions is a re... If you haven't heard this, uh, I can't even remember what they were called, but they're supposed to be spirits inside physical objects, or, you know, it's a superstition in Japan, uh, where if you don't give your uh, um, broken or unrepairable items a proper send-off, they'll come back to haunt you. That's pretty much what Possessions is about. And it's been nominated for an Academy Award. I can see why. Very good. Very good indeed. Um, let's see. Uh, combustible. It, it's about a, about Japanese culture and, fire, and like almost feudal time style firefighting and stuff, I guess. Gambo is about a crazy bear who seems to be an ensign of the gods or some shit like that. And A Farewell to Weapons is a futuristic post-apocalyptic Tokyo which, where everything's gone wrong. And those four movies in total, they're about 63 minutes long, I think it said in the back of the case. Uh, and they're fine. They're nice to watch. I enjoyed watching them. I'm, a, I'm an anime fan, but I'm not like super crazy into anime. When it said... Hold on, let me, let me read this shit. Let me read this shit. Katsuhiro Otomo. I, I had no idea who that was. But he created Akira and Steam Boy. And I know Akira and Steam Boy. I can't say I've watched Akira or Steam Boy, but I know them. So I know he's a big deal. But I, I'm not the sort of anime fan that likes anime enough to actually say, oh yeah, man, that was sick. Not sure why they're being, their faces are being censored either. It really confused me. Shit, man. Gameplay. Oh. Okay, going on eight minutes now. Right, here we fucking go, here we fucking go. Let's do it. It's one of the many unlockable costumes. Well, I say many, one of the few unlockable costumes you can get. Okay, so constantly you're being chased by green, ghosty, slimy monster things. Here, literally, run and uh, attack and jump. Um. When you play it, it almost feels like a rhythm game to a certain extent. And I'll explain that one. You know how in rhythm games, to get things perfect, you have to hit every every button, every item, every obstacle, whatever. In a rhythm game, you're supposed to do it all perfectly. You're supposed to do it within time. I feel like this feels like a rhythm game because there's a lot about timing to it. It's all, it's all about pressing your buttons at the right time to make the correct jumps, to make the correct attacks, to get the best... Oh... Uh, point bonus or whatever. You can see a little ammo meter in the bottom left. And you saw I used I used L1 to shoot that creature back. So you know if it's catching up with you a bit too much, you can send it back to hell. Um, so yeah, this is all about a kills and b doing a good time attack. I could have gone up there, but I don't want to go back now. So yeah, a kills, b time attack. And that's why I feel like it feels like a rhythm game because to get it to get to get the best time, you would have to go through and hit the right buttons all the right times. You would have to know when to attack, know when to run, know when to jump, know when not to, know which route to take. It's it, you would have to memorize a lot of it. You can't you can't really do too much of it intuitively. Not to say that you can't do any of it intuitively, just not as much as you might like. Certainly not quite as much as I would like.
But that's in no way saying I dislike the game, mind you, because I think it's really nice. I normally fall down there, so that, that's a godsend. Yeah, crazy beams of light seem to emanate from the enemies after you smash them in and just all shit goes down. I'm, I'm still not all that sure why. Okay, let's see how we did for that level. 2 minutes 26 on my high score. 123 kills is not my high score. I believe that was set by my friend the other day. Um, so as you can see, there's plenty of replayability in these levels. There's like several floors to them. There's like a bottom route, a middle route, sometimes a top route. Some of them are really awkward and difficult to get to. You'd have to get speed in the right places and jump in the right places. And There's a lot to do. And there's uh, little presents in the stages. You may have seen me grab one where you can unlock concept art and costumes. It's all about replayability in this game. You're not supposed to just play through each level once and then be done with it. This isn't a, you know, this isn't one of those AAA titles where you just play the story through once. Um, but still, I'm just not sure how I feel about it. I understand that it's supposed to, it's, it is about replayability. It is about high scores, uh, but is there enough content here to really justify the purchase price? Is there? I don't know. I really don't know. And ah, uh, I really don't know. And um, I don't know if I could answer that. Maybe some time. Some people that love to go on time attacks on games could maybe answer that question. Because the thing is, I don't. I don't do time attacks on games really, rarely, even in even in platformers where there's really awkward stages, I don't really bother doing time attacks because they don't interest me all that much. I'm not really interested in seeing how fast I can do a stage, I just want to do the stage. Fuck, I could have got up there. Oh. But as you can see, plenty of little opportunities that I'm completely, mi oh, and again, completely missing proving that there's plenty of room for replayability and you know I'm being slowed down fuck knows how many times by all these hazards. Completing the level is only one part of the game because if you just had to complete the levels it'd be so easy. It's not hard. The game isn't hard to play. It's all, it is all about perfection and because it's so about perfection it's going to divide a lot of people. Um, I don't know if anyone out there follows Total Biscuit. You totally should, but you'll remember. You might remember him doing a video of 10 Second Ninja, where he says he doesn't like it because it's all about time attacks and perfecting what you've done, and he's just not into those. And I can completely understand why he's not into those. And this is exactly one of those. He's not into those types of games. He doesn't want to just repeat the same sort of levels over and over again until he gets it right. He wants to just be able to play it and if it's good enough to replay, he will replay it. And that's sort of how I feel about this. Another level done. Let's see how it did. Good time, hopefully. Yeah, good time. Not a good kills. Not good kills. Um, like I said, this is not just a game though. This is about those four anime movies as I mentioned. And in the official Namco Bandai fact sheet that I've been given, it mentions several times about the anime movies. It's really important that this is a movie and a game to them from a marketing perspective. It's a movie and a game. It's not just a 43 minute game. It's a movie and a game. And it's all about the, the short piece series or short piece collection or whatever. That's what they that's where they're going with this, okay? It's it's this it's the set of short piece games um, spearheaded by Katsuhiro Katsuhiro Otomo, was it? I've already forgot the name, it's only been like a minute. Um, but yeah, I totally understand where they're going what they're going for. Why, why they're going for it. Ball bags, you fucking... Ah, oh, such a fucker. <laughs> Try to scratch my nose, completely fucked it. 
see all these areas where I'm going really slow, I should not be going really slow. Um, oh well. I'm not the best at this game. So, gameplay wise, what have we got? We've got Ranko Tsukigime and we've got her, uh, I don't know, attack, jump, don't, don't, don't let the other thing catch up to you. That is the gameplay, that is, that is it. Storyline wise, I, I don't even fucking know. If you do know, then fucking good for you, because I have no idea. <laughs> no, seriously, I have no idea. Um... There is something about about killing someone or other. I'm not sure if I think you'd kill them. I'm not sure if you do. And uh, it's something. The it, story goes into something about a key of Babylon, and it never explains what it means by that. Never. It just. It, oh, I just honestly no idea what's going on. It's true, Suda 51 style bullshit, and I'm not sure if I mean bullshit in the positive sense. You know, I tell people, I love anime bullshit, I'm into Japanese bullshit, and they're all like, yeah, that's cool. Um, this time I'm using the word bullshit in a, in a, a less positive sense. In case anyone didn't realise I was using it in a positive sense before. Um, not to say it's bad, because I actually think this is a really fun game. I, I think it's really charming. But... <coughs> is it is it A, worth the price tag? Because this is being sold in shops for between 30 to 40 pounds, which is a standard price for a AAA game around here. Those would be games with 10 times the, 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 the gameplay length. 10 times, sometimes even 40 times, you know? Getting a 40 hour RPG isn't a crazy thing. It's, that's kind of normal. And this is a pretty much less than one hour game with an hour's worth of movie tacked onto it, well not tacked on, it is, if you are really into anime as a fan, this is great, and it says this in the fact sheet several times, the perfect uh, bundle made for otaku, the otaku, you know, Japanese nerdy kids, or kids who love Japan, it's the nicest possible way of saying weeaboo, um, a unique offer for otaku, unique bundle made for all otaku, Katsuhiro Otamo has mentioned it several times and it really is aimed squarely at the really big Japanese fans. You know, the fans of Japanese culture, the people who would hear Katsuhiro Otomo's name and think, oh fuck, I know that guy, he's a fucking legend. I don't know how many of those people exist, but it's for those guys. This game is squarely for those guys. Um, I was interested when I heard Suda51 was was in the mix, and uh, you know what? When you play it, you'll 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 see his influences. You'll see his influences certainly. Um, and clearly, the levels get more complex as you can see, but this this you know. I'm not too far off the halfway mark of the game, playtime-wise. So... Oh, fuck that. So you can see that even though the levels get more complex, I can't say there's that many more of them. Uh, again, I missed some shit back there. Fuck it, let's do it. Fuck you. Yeah! Probably not going to make a big difference. Doesn't even look like you have to jump for those, you can just sort of swing your sword when below them. So, I meant for this to be a first impressions, but it ended up just being an impressions. Oh, fuck that. Because... Because, it, it, you know, I completed it before I, I managed to do a first impressions video. I really didn't expect it to be as short as it was. But Short Piece, as a collection of anime movies and a game, they're all quite short, and they're meant to be short. They're meant to be really uh, classy and maybe small, but that doesn't have any reflection on the quality within. And, you know, maybe that's why they made it a short game. They wanted it to be a piece of the short piece. And it is a, a short piece of content. Um, 
you know, I've played longer pieces of DLC. But I guess that doesn't really reflect how much time an individual may get out of it. You people out there who really love speedruns, time trials, perfection in games, you people will probably love this. Because there's enough to get, there's, there's a decent enough a, a amount of content to get want to get 100% on, but it won't take you forever. Oh yeah, got new concept art, yeah. Well that's always nice. Hey, I like collecting everything in games and I like getting the best times possible, but I don't know. Can't be able to replay the whole thing every time. Also, if you happen to die, which you shouldn't, but if you were happen to die, then you restart the level over again. And considering the levels are about three minutes each, that's 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 too much. Um. Is there any reason I feel like I've done that bit several times now? Or is it just me? Oh, oh. I'd be lying to you if I said bits like that weren't a lot of fun. I'm confused. What's going on? Can I do this shit? Oh, do I need to get down there or some shit? I think I do. Oh, <laughs> just going around in circles for a bit, apparently. Um, I can't even remember doing this bit before in the game. I must have done it first time where I did it last. Oh. Ranko Tsukigime's longest day. Uh, first of all, if you're a big fan of anime, then this may be perfect for you. If you if you if you think of Akira and Steam Boy and start crying nostalgic tears of joy, then this game might just be exactly what you want. If you think of uh, Katsuhiro Otomo and say, I I don't know who the fuck that is then it's every possibility that you might not want to buy- OH SHIT! Buy this game! <laughs> um, but yeah, for everyone else, fucking get on that shit. It's, you know... Thank fuck for that. Um, it's, what, like, great? I don't know. I don't know if it's great. Yeah, at least I got a high score on that shit, yeah. Yeah, concept art, yeah, fuck yeah. Look at that shit, going some Grand Tsukigime Tokyo. Underground parking lots they say, but I, I don't even don't even know what I'm fucking looking at. And all the enemies, I don't know where they're coming from, and there's ghosts and shit. And at one point a giant Pomeranian chases you and that's that is that's no bullshit. It's a giant Pomeranian chasing you. It's a pretty it's a pretty tough level to be fair. I failed a few times, I was getting pretty pissed off. Uh, yeah, let's return to title screen. That's quite enough. So yeah, Ranko Tsukigime's Longest Day. My final, final uh, recommendation is that if you're a more casual anime Japanese gaming fan, then maybe skip this one. If you either really love anime, which, you know, I don't, I could understand why you would. If you really love anime, or you really love your time trials, then this might actually be a great decision. Because by no means is it a bad game, it's just really short. And someone who isn't going to really admire A, the, an the anime movie inside, and B, really want to replay the game several times, which would be simple, then you won't get your money's worth. You just won't. I want you to. I want you to say, yeah man. That game was sick. I want you to get your money's worth. I'm not sure you will. 
Ranko Tsukigime's Longest Day, part of the Short Piece collaboration project. Four anime movies, one game. Interesting. Not game of the year material, certainly though. Uh, you have to, you have to have specific tastes to really get the most out of this. But I still recommend it. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and the rest. Yeah. <laughs>